Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We, we have been uh, talking about olefin metathesis, uh, particularly catalyst uh, development aspects uh, in the uh, uh, last few lectures and we had focused on alkene met metathesis uh, to begin with. And what we had seen in the uh, last few lectures is that both sterics and electronics uh, they play a powerful role in modulating uh, uh, in the catalyst activity particularly uh, in making catalyst more efficient in their catalytic processes. So, in that regard we had uh, uh, seen how putting more bulky uh, ligands on the metal uh, help facilitated uh, better activity for uh, Grubbs uh, catalyst by uh, allowing phosphine dissociation and further incorporation of uh, very good sigma donating uh, ligands on the metal uh, uh, facilitated olefin binding which uh, both together help facilitated uh, this uh, metathesis reaction. So, uh, uh, this uh, uh, quite a bit of rich uh, organometallic chemistry a uh, particularly with regard to the metal ligand binding uh, as well as metal ligand uh, uh, pi back donation all of those interaction played a crucial role uh, in the evolution of uh, olefin metathesis catalyst uh, which went on to become better uh, with the uh, um, discovery of second generation catalyst as opposed to the Grubbs first generation catalyst. We had also discussed about Harman's work on uh, uh, the comparison of Grubbs first generation and second generation catalyst in the ring opening metathesis polymerization of cyclooctane and uh, that uh, definitely proved that uh, indeed the second generation catalyst bearing n heterocyclic carbenes uh, were more superior uh, uh, in terms of uh, fastness uh, to produce the product than the corresponding Grubbs first generation catalyst. Uh, so, with this uh, behind us today we are going to uh, sort of uh, um, look at the key points uh, of this uh, metathesis uh, uh, catalyst uh, as we proceed uh, uh, in today's lecture. And uh, these are particularly with respect to uh, alkene metathesis that we are talking about. So, this metal carbon moiety acts as the active center in catalyst. Catalysis. Second thing that of uh, the various uh, metals. Uh, which could stabilize a metal carbon a moiety. The metals of choice for met metallic reactions were molybdenum, tungsten, rhenium, and ruthenium. And ruthenium are the metal of choice. for metathesis reaction. And uh, you know oh, the earlier times the catalyst were derived from transient metal halide as is uh, uh, shown over here and carbon ion donors. tungsten hexachloride plus dimethyl aluminum chloride would give tungsten tetrachloro
dimethyl that in presence of ethanol would eliminate water to give tungsten oxo dichloride with this uh, intermediate transition state giving Cl W C L oxo carbene plus uh, methane. So, this is another way of uh, generating uh, the uh, uh, tungsten oxo carbene uh, uh, complexes. Now, in this uh, regard we should mention that some of the uh, earlier molybdenum uh, version that we had seen uh, were of molybdenum imido carbene of similar uh, or related, uh, of related formulation. So, uh, uh, the way uh, uh, this particular uh, complex uh, uh, which was prepared from the halide and uh, this uh, uh, dimethyl aluminum chloride uh, uh, resulting in the uh, tungsten oxo carbonyl complex. Hmm. So, along the same line uh, the Schrock uh, had synthesized uh, uh, the corresponding imidocarbon complex as is shown over here. Schrock's complex uh, was synthesized much later in 1990 and, and this is uh, a imidomolybdenum complex. methyl CF3. So, uh, this uh, 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 is a, a, a very complicated complex which has which has both imido and the carbon complex and also has uh, this CF3 methyl uh, moieties, uh, uh, CF3 methyl moieties uh, around the alkoxides. So, this is kind of a complex uh, however, this was found to be highly active catalyst but uh, poor functional group tolerant but poor uh, then uh, the next uh, important thing is While increasing the electron withdrawing nature of R, the catalyst catalytic activity increases, the catalytic activity increased or with increasing electron withdrawing. nature of R and this uh, can be seen uh, uh, why these CF3 groups were put in place. Another important feature of this complex is uh, the sterically demanding olefins even the sterically demanding olefin tri and tetra substituted tri and tetra substituted olefins 
can undergo metathesis. So, uh, this uh, uh, is a very interesting uh, uh, development where uh, this molybdenum imido uh, carbene as prepared by Schrock uh, uh, went on to become an extremely uh, high active catalyst. Uh, 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 then uh, the catalytic activity could be increased by uh, putting electron withdrawing groups and also uh, can be because of higher activity uh, it can uh, be used for slow reacting tri and tetra substituted olefins. The only drawback uh, uh, to this highly active molybdenum catalyst is that they are not, are not very uh, uh, functional group tolerant uh, or that the catalyst could easily be poisoned uh, 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 by uh, different functional groups in the olefin. So, these are supposed to be the limitation of uh, these uh, uh, catalyst, molybdenum catalyst. Now, uh, we had seen uh, this uh, tungsten oxo carbene complex uh, uh, which was synthesized from tungsten hexalide. Then we have seen uh, Schrock's uh, 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 molybdenum imido carbene complex and now we are going to uh, go and look at Grubbs phosphine carbene complex, Grubbs complex and this was synthesized much later 1995 about 5 years uh, later. Uh, than that of uh, um, the Srox uh, which was synthesized in 1990. And this uh, angle between these two uh, halide was 167 uh, degrees. Now, uh, the main feature of these uh, uh, um, ruthenium uh, compound uh, is that these are functional group tolerant uh, to, uh, tolerant like and it could tolerate groups like uh, CO, uh, OH, uh, NHT, NH2 amido and that the catalyst would not get uh, poisoned by the presence of this group in the uh, uh, olefin and hence this was uh, supposedly a, a very big uh, 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 attribute uh, for this ruthenium carbene uh, complex. And then the other important features included selectivity towards towards sterically unhindered olefins and strained olefins and and the third thing is the tri and tetra substituted olefins cannot undergo uh, metathesis tri and tetra substituted olefins did not undergo metathesis. 
So, the point uh, to note uh, is the following. Now, when one compares uh, Grubbs uh, complex with that of the Stokes complex uh, as discussed earlier, one major difference is that uh, this is exactly opposite to that of the Grubbs complex in, the, in terms of being functional group tolerant. Uh, whereas, uh, Grubbs uh, compound uh, which was a molybdenum number was highly reactive towards uh, functional group and intolerant and hence the catalyst would uh, uh, get poisoned in presence of various functional group like COOH and H2. Whereas, uh, the Grubbs ruthenium complex is exactly the opposite and that uh, it does not get affected by the presence of uh, other functional group and uh, hence uh, the catalyst would survive. Uh, uh, the presence of other functionality uh, 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 and would uh, effectively carry out the catalysis. Other important difference is uh, that uh, the Strokes catalyst being highly reactive uh, could uh, uh, carry out uh, metathesis of tri and tetra substituted uh, uh, olefins whereas, uh, the Grubbs one is exactly the opposite and it did not uh, facilitate or did not uh, allow uh, the metathesis reactions with tri and tetra substituted olefins. So, uh, you know, and third thing, uh, the third difference is obviously the ruthenium carbene is more air uh, stable, whereas uh, the Strox molybdenum carbene is uh, more sensitive to air and moisture. Uh, the, uh, lastly, uh, the fourth difference is that the ruthenium carbene. Uh, has only one kind of uh, multiple bond between ruthenium and carbonic moiety, whereas the Strox uh, complex had two kind of multiple bonding, one between molybdenum and carbene and the other between molybdenum and imido moiety. Another interesting uh, thing is that uh, even though uh, they are completely uh, complementary to each other, uh, they uh, together they have made a very good uh, set of catalyst combination where every type of metathesis reactions could be uh, facilitated. Now, uh, one important thing as I was uh, talking about this coordinative and electronic uh, saturation and saturation is a very important factor in guiding catalyst activity and in this uh, uh, regard both, both the Schrock and Grubbs catalyst have a low coordination number uh, and uh, this primarily we had discussed by uh, arising from phosphine dissociation in Grubbs catalyst. in Grubbs catalyst low coordination number. This is very important in order to facilitate alkene attack on central metal atom. atom or this is called alkene binding. So, the point to note is this low coordination number uh, very is important for alkene binding uh, and that uh, uh, has been achieved by phosphine dissociation uh, in presence of uh, Grubbs uh, catalyst. And uh, another advantage of olefin metathesis reaction is the fact that olefin metathesis can be uh, carried out both uh, under homogeneous conditions as well as heterogeneous catalysis conditions. And uh, as uh, preferred by industry, most of the industrial processes utilizes heterogeneous uh, catalyst uh, uh, till date. industrial processes
utilizes heterogeneous catalyst uh, so uh, whereas uh, uh, the laboratory uh, applications often however uh, implies homogeneous catalyst homogeneous catalyst are mostly used in laboratory applications and towards this development uh, a lot of different kinds of uh, uh, catalyst uh, using ruthenium, molybdenum uh, and other metals were synthesized. And uh, as we had seen that uh, in uh, the activity of uh, Grubbs catalyst was improved uh, by uh, replacing uh, phosphines with NHCs uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, several uh, types of or several variants of uh, Grubbs catalyst were developed and uh, they uh, were later characterized as uh, first generation and second generation type of catalyst. And in this regard, uh, the notable few catalysts which uh, uh, are, are by far the best uh, uh, in terms of the activity are shown over here. The variants of uh, Grubbs catalyst uh, that are uh, that show uh, great activity. To start with is the This is the first Grubbs catalyst then can the carbene substituted Grubbs catalyst followed by the set Dimidazole based grub catalyst followed by the beast carbene. Based Grubbs catalyst. So, what we see over here is that uh, uh, a significant improvement of Grubbs catalyst uh, happens as phosphines. Uh, get replaced by NHCs uh, uh, to becoming that with uh, two NHCs where both uh, phosphines uh, have been replaced uh, with NHCs and the activity keeps getting better. So, with this we come to uh, uh, the conclusion of today's uh, uh, lecture in which we have uh, looked into various uh, types of catalysts that have been developed uh, uh, starting with uh, the uh, tungsten based. Uh, uh, carbene complexes to that of molybdenum to that of ruthenium. And what we saw that between Strock's molybdenum and Grubbs ruthenium uh, 
catalyst there is a, 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 a the presence of complementarity in terms of the uh, strux molybdenum catalyst being extremely sensitive to air and moisture uh, whereas drugs uh, ruthenium catalyst is uh, stable to air and moisture uh, strux molybdenum catalyst is highly uh, reactive and hence functional group uh, intolerant whereas grubs ruthenium catalyst uh, uh, is functional group tolerant uh, strux uh, molybdenum catalyst uh, uh, is good for uh, the reactions of uh, tri and tetra substituted bulky olefinic substrates whereas uh, the uh, uh, grubs ruthenium catalyst extremely uh, actually does not undergo any reaction with the sterically demanding tri and tetra uh, substituted olefins. Uh, so, there exists a huge uh, uh, complementarity between these two catalysts, uh, but the end uh, the appreciation uh, of for metathesis reaction is more uh, uh, possible because of the synthesis of Grubbs catalyst which is sort of uh, virtually took out uh, this meta, uh, air sensitive metathesis chemistry out of the glove box uh, to be able to successfully practiced in open air. Now, uh, one thing uh, which is important over here uh, that for this metathesis reaction olefin binding is a crucial step and that is facilitated by a low coordination number of the catalyst and this is achieved by phosphine dissociation uh, 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 giving rise to low coordinated metal species for both Schrock and uh, Grubbs catalyst which can then finally a, a, a bind olefin uh, 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 giving metathesis reaction. So, uh, apart from this uh, industrial processes uh, prefer uh, heterogeneous catalyst whereas uh, uh, homogeneous catalysis uh, uh, are still preferred under uh, laboratory applications uh, 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 reactions. With this uh, we will conclude uh, uh, this our discussion on uh, olefin metathesis reaction and we are going to uh, alkene metathesis reaction uh, and we are going to take up uh, uh, cross metathesis and other variant re uh, of olefin metathesis reaction in more, more detail when we meet in the next class. Till then goodbye and thank you.